Girls from Cuckoo's Cuisina. I'm Joanne. I'm Jackie. And I'm Kelly. And now we're going to show you what our risen dough looks like. Um, this is, we turned it out and we put some flour on our surface and now we have to knead it a little bit more. So Jackie's going to do that for us. And All you want to do is just knead it for like a minute just to soften it up and get it ready to be turned into a pizza. Right, and we're gonna we're preparing some of our toppings that we're gonna put on. So here we have some artichoke hearts that I'm slicing to be a little bit thin so that we can put them right on our pizza. And then we're also gonna put some grilled zucchini on ours. So this is kind of like our vegetarian pizza. Yeah. Jackie's gonna go totally vegan. So yes. we're gonna divide it and Jackie's gonna get a piece and put on anything that she likes. Great things that you can put if you don't want to do vegan, you could also add um, ham or bacon or sausage. Mm. What's Jackie's favorite? I, I know she has some favorites for her. My pizza. favorite, I usually like to um, have some bacon on my pizza, um, but I'm dairy allergic so I don't put cheese on any of mine. So we've got some vegan cheese for Jackie. Yes. <clears throat> vegan feta. What else do you like to put on your toppings, Jackie? I know this. What about sliced tomatoes? Sliced tomatoes, sometimes I like some red peppers. Mm. Um, I tend to put some caramelized onions on my pizza as well. We did that with the filo pizza. Yes. Which was really good. I think that dough looks about ready. Yes. So if you want to take a third of that for yourself. So good. Some, some olives here. Okay, so Jackie will work with her piece. <clears throat> Kelly's going to work with our piece. And we have some pizza stones in the oven right now, heating up is the best thing to do if you have a pizza stone. If not, you could use, always use a cookie sheet. Basically what you want to do is, here's our little spoon. You're going to do freestyle. So this is going to be another rustic type of pizza. There's no real wrong way to do it. You can do an oval, like a, a like a, like a non bread or something. It's, you can do an oval, um, or you can do a round piece, or you can do a rectangular piece. Lagana is what I was trying to think of, oh. which is a Lenten bread. So well, as you're doing this and you're stretching, you're going to basically do a hand stretch. If you find that the dough is resisting, just let it sit for a few seconds, let it rest, and then you'll find it's a whole lot more elastic when you come back to it. That's also what I do when I do klonus, when I do yeah. the ropes to make tsureki. You'll find they only go so far, and then you have to just let them sit for a couple of seconds and then come back. Yeah, that's the gluten in there. Yeah. You want it to have a ridge when you're done. Yeah, kind of like a regular pizza crust. Yeah. But this pizza crust is really, really cool because it's got olives and thyme in it. Hey, are you prejudiced against big chunks of olives? Only in my bread. I love olives in my bread. Yeah, you grab it from that end. Mine can't get much bigger because I have a tiny piece. You have a Jackie size piece. A Jackie piece. Listen, Jackie portions are good. Oh, my Jackie portions are good. This is like Jackie has an individual pie. Not too thin, because then you get like, look, you got a hole in it. That's your side. All right, ladies, let's not hold it. We have guests. <laughs> oh, that's right, we do. We have I company. Think, I think we look good right here. I, I think, think that so, too. Right. So now we should take our pizza stones oh, out. Hey, you didn't want it. So you're taking my rejects. That's it. That's how it works. 
So we're going to take our pizza stone out of the oven and transfer this to our pizza stone. And now we're going to load them up. Oh, you guys went round. Interesting. Well, it's kind of like the pizza dictated which way it wanted to go. Oh, okay. We just kept stretching until it was like, okay, I'm done. Here's Jackie's pizza stone. So we can just transfer that into there. I'm scared. I'm scared. There we go. There we go. You did it. Hey. And then you can stretch it out into there a little bit more. Let's get this out of the way. I got a little deformed. And then let's get this one too. Yep. I'm scared. Oh, there we go. See, it changes shape by the time you put it down. Yep. And we're going to let it be whatever shape it wants to be. You know. Again, Rustic is beautiful. Country style is beautiful. And if you do see any holes in Just your dough. Just pinch it together. The dough is very forgiving. Right. Just pinch it all together. And there is ours. I think you need to move that one over here. Yep. I think we do need to move that. I didn't need the, the bits. You could just take the... Okay. Take the... Do that. Okay. Leave the, leave the board here. No, just put it... Put mine down. Bring the board over here. What do you Because these pizza stones are really hot. Put it right in the middle. Okay. So let's load up. Jackie, you got. Are we going to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil? Um, or after? I think after we're going to do the olive oil. Okay. okay. So what do we want to put on first? Let's do the veggies first. Okay. So we're going to do some. These are our little artichoke. I'm actually going to start with some sauce my pizza. Are you going to do all the same on your pizza? Do it half, half, half and half? No, I don't want a lot of sauce. I'm going to spread it out. Now typically Greek pizza doesn't have sauce on it. So we're going to go more traditional Greek island style here while Jackie does her own thing on her pizza. Now, the artichokes will need some seasoning. Yeah, so that's a good idea. Let's season it a little so, bit. So we have some salt, salt and pepper. So I'm actually on mine going to do half with some artichokes and some zucchini and half without. From a little kid, I always loved artichokes, my mom's artichokes. Okay. Right, Mom? Yeah, she used to, at three years old, she was eating artichokes. I remember making them in a saucepan, and she would take those leaves and she would suck them. Okay. It was the weirdest thing to see a three-year-old do that. And we need some of that. And now so we're going to do the zucchini. Some zucchini slices on. Now this is already grilled zucchini. I just need and then you have to grill it beforehand because zucchini has a lot of water in it. So if you don't, it'll get really, really wet and soggy. Jackie's doing her own custom pizza. Okay. Now you're putting your feta cheese on. So I've got some vegan feta here. What do we do with this artichoke? We'll use it for something else. Put as much as yours, a little as you like. Jackie, you don't want it. You're done with your artichoke, right? I am. Okay. And now we have a combination of feta and cassetti cheese that we're going to put over the top. Did you have the feta in here? It's the passeri and the... Oh, Gavera. the raviera, that's right. We're so not we have feta on this one. Okay, so we have some cassetti and raviera cheese that have been grated. We'll put those on top. Yeah, Jackie was doing her vegan feta on hers. Yeah, she's Jackie here has vegan feta. You can see, oh, that looks pretty. Mm. 
Okay. You want a little pepper on top, Jackie? Uh, yes, please. I'm going to put a little pepper on top. That looks good. You want to get it right up until the edges here. Okay, so we're done with that. And the last thing we're going to do here is put some oregano. Well, second to last. So just sprinkle some oregano over the top. And again, the recipe for these pizzas will be on, are on the blog. And then we want to drizzle with some olive oil. Awesome. Good. These are going in the oven, and in a little while, we're gonna have some pizza for you. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. And here is the finished product of our dough Greek pizza. Notice how nice and golden brown our edges have gotten, and the cheese all melted and crusty on top. We hope you enjoy this as much as we will. It smells delicious. Galiorexia. Galiorexia.